Hello, hello, internet allies. How you doing? Right. It's been a while since I filmed a YouTube video. About two months. Well, I'm back now. So I'm going to talk about probably the guiltiest pleasure I've ever had, which is kind of started this year, like about six months ago, which is RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's definitely not the kind of show that like I really expect to like. You know, with it being like a reality show and all that, but like, I really enjoy it. Because RuPaul's Drag Race is now come to the UK for UK series, I thought I'd talk a little bit about RuPaul's Drag Race and what I really like about it. So yeah, here we go. So far, I've only actually watched like four seasons properly. Um, but I do really want to watch the rest of the seasons as well that I've not watched yet. So I've watched seasons four through seven. So I started watching it like about six months ago and yeah, I'd only really watch it like at the start with my sister or my friend Josh, but yeah, like they really got me into it. Like I really love it. Like, and you know, I'm not ashamed to say that I like watching it on my own now. And I think what I really like about it, like there's a few things I really, really like about it is because before that show, I had like no interest in like drag artists or whatever. Like, I think I was probably a bit narrow-minded about them, to be honest. Like, you know, I felt like they were like a bit more of like a sort of a novelty, a bit more of like a comedy kind of act, like not really to be taken too seriously. I only really knew like drag from like, say like pantomimes and stuff where they have like pantomime dames. And yeah, I think what I like is that like, you know, the show has really opened my eyes and actually changed my mindset about that. And I'm quite grateful for that. And yeah, I kind of do like things that, you know, like change my mind about certain topics and stuff. I mean, to be honest, I probably wouldn't really go into drag myself because I don't really think I've got really the personality or the confidence to really pull it off and it's never really something that I would consider doing myself but you know I can now truly appreciate the work that goes into it. There's a lot more to, to like the art form of drag and it really is an art form really when you see all the work <laughs> that goes into it, hey, <laughs> the work. And I don't really know why that surprises me so much because when I was at college technically I was doing a creative media course and Technically that fell under like art as well. And in the same building as us, there were like fashion students who, again, you know, were like doing like a creative art based course. The outfits that they come up with are like super creative, you know, whether that's like a zombie apocalypse one or even, you know, <laughs> conjoined twins thing in my body. <sighs> It's so clever, like, it really, really is. Most of my friends actually really like this show, you know, so there's my friend, you know, like, just thinking there's Josh, there's Becky, obviously, I've mentioned. My friend Kieran really likes it, my friend Amy really likes it. A lot of my friends really, really like this show, and I do think that, like, you know, more people really should watch this show. I mean, even, like, the tattoo artist, one of the tattoo artists I've had, she would really like RuPaul's Drag Race and she even designed a series of RuPaul's Drag Race tattoos. And, you know, which were really, really cool, even though they did spell Shantae wrong, you know, just saying, we might need to change that. <laughs> I think it's rare to find a show where, like, I've never met anybody who dislikes this show. Like, I think I've only ever heard people praise or sing the praises of RuPaul's Drag Race and I don't blame them whatsoever and I am now one of those people, I'm a fan. What I also really like about RuPaul's Drag Race is that even though it has a super wild, super quirky, super fun, super camp, super dramatic side, it also has the quite serious side to it as well where like they talk about the drag community, the LGBTQ plus community and some of the difficulties that they face in these communities and these can be anything from coming out to the friends and family to you know being abandoned by their family and stuff like that for all like being them and stuff i mean it is a great way of like self-expression i think you know if if you know if like that's what people want to do if that makes them feel confident and they're not hurting anybody then just let them do that like I say, you know, I do have a lot of respect now for like 
you know, drag queens everywhere and RuPaul and for, for putting on this show as well. I think another thing I really, really like about RuPaul's Drag Race compared to other reality shows is that it's very like self-aware you know it kind of knows what kind of show it is you know it knows it's like really dramatic they know that they have to like plug the sponsors and they're not subtle about it at all i mean i think the lack of subtlety like is what i love about it you know it is just so extra it's great i love it while you untuck in the interior illusions lounge i think that's the name of it with an absolute vodka cocktail the judges and i will deliberate and that's another thing they have some really famous guest judges on there you know they've had like game of thrones actresses they've had like ariana grande they've had demi levi just to main name a few and it's great and you know they do put on a great show when they have to like lip sync for their life and i think another thing is that like the show is actually generally quite a positive show even when contestants get eliminated what i like is that RuPaul always kind of sends them off with like a message of encouragement and empowerment which is great now i think like a lot of shows need to be a lot more like constructive like that you know i think that's basically what like certain judges on certain talent shows kind of miss is that like whole like be constructive try and be positive try and find a positive in everybody's performance you know try and find something nice to say even if you completely hate what they're doing i think that's basically what you know people should really kind of put into real life as well i mean i certainly would not recommend watching it with like parents or like if you're a parent yourself don't watch it with like young kids you know there are some quite dirty and vulgar jokes in the show now, i think that's basically one concern that i have about Michelle Visage now being in Strictly Come Dancing. People are now going to assume that RuPaul's Drag Race UK is going to be a bit more family friendly when I really don't think it will be. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm definitely rooting for you, Michelle Visage, if you're watching. Anyway, thanks very much, guys, for watching. Please let me know in the comments below if you've ever watched RuPaul's Drag Race or if you've got, like, a super guilty pleasure TV show or something like that. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please click on subscribe. It really, really helps me out. It really, really means a lot. And I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Until next time, keep smiling. I'm going to sashay away now, so bye-bye.